I wanted to show you how you can manage vector brushes in Affinity Designer. So not only can you create brand new brushes from scratch, but you'll be able to import and export brushes and also be able to take any preset brush and customize it and save it for future use. So before we get started, I just want to explain that vector brushes are used with the vector brush tool and that is within the designer persona exclusively. So when designer persona is active, it's this tool here, the vector brush tool, which uses the brushes which are available in the brushes panel here. So we're going to be just talking about how to manage this set of brushes and import, export, etc. Okay, to start off with then, so we want to import the uh, brushes, pop that just there, and then we can uh, move on from there. So to import brushes, just um, click the panel preferences at the top right, import brushes, and then just navigate to desktop my vector brushes. And we pick up a, a file though which stores uh, a load of uh, external vector brushes which we want to introduce into the app and utilize. So with the file selected, I'll click open. And the vector brushes are now imported into this category called my vector brushes. So these can then be used in conjunction with the vector brush tool. Now if I wanted to create a brush from scratch, I can create a new category first. And I'll just do that now. So from the same panel preferences button, create a new category. And we'll rename it to be extra vector brushes. Okay, so to create a new brush, I can click on panel preferences at the top right, choose new solid brush. And then by double clicking the created thumbnail, I can just change the default settings to uh, something akin to uh, a kind of brush that I want. I'll just change, increase the brush width and the size variance. I'll just do close. And that saves my first brush. Now instead of starting from scratch, what I can do is just go into, for instance, a particular category. I'll choose, say, watercolours and gouache. And I'll choose a particular brush there. And I'll double click and enter the brush editing settings. And from there, I can choose duplicate. And that creates a duplicate of basic watercolor 05 uh, to a new brush called brush copy. Now I want to stress the importance of being able to duplicate and then save these brushes to a new location because if you keep your factory supplied brush sets etc away from your customized brushes you've got more control of your brush management and uh, you get more organized too. So in this instance, what I can do is to move this particular brush to a new location. And I'll just right click there and I'll do move brush to category, extra vector brushes. And that's disappeared from there and now appears in extra vector brushes just there. So now having the brush copied over to a custom category that I've created previously, I can double click it, change settings, just close it and that's my uh, new brush. So with this brush that I've created from an existing brush and this one which I've created from scratch, I can, I can export both brushes by using the panel preferences and choosing export brushes. And I can save that into this location. I've already got a file there which uh, I've created which was called extra vector brushes so by Clicking save, I'm overwriting that, and that's my updated brushes saved. 